Recently, visitors to the National Library of Singapore were transported back in time to as far as the 1920s. Vintage cars were on display in the lead-up to the upcoming Formula One Singapore Grand Prix. The cars belong to members of the Malaysia and Singapore Vintage Car Register. They are likely to be paraded in September when the Formula One race will be held. A lot of people think the F1 is the first time a race car is coming to Singapore. But we actually were hosting race events in Singapore as a national event for many years. Ali Solomon, editor for the Malaysia and Singapore Vintage Car Register, hosted a forum titled A Prelude to the Singapore Grand Prix. Through archival photographs and footage, he took the audience through the years of the Malaysia and Singapore Grand Prix in the 60s and 70s. Well, when I organized this talk, um, I tried to create a history of a, over, over 60 years, a church of cars representing 60 years of motoring and motorsports. A lot of these cars have racing pedigree. So the Lancia, for example, was a well-known rally car. The Minis over there, what is very common on the street, has been turned into a race car. The little Austin Frog Eye was a very popular race car as well. So a lot of the cars that you see here had some form of racing exposure. Ali Solomon is also the author of Snakes and Devils, a history of the Singapore Grand Prix, which will be released in May. As a racer himself, with an interest in historic motorsport, he decided to write a book he felt hadn't been done before. The Grand Prix ran from 1961 to 1973 on a street circuit. In other words, once a year they'd close the streets, fence off the area for spectators and have a Grand Prix race weekend. Most of the people at the forum had taken part in the Singapore Grand Prix in the past. I participated in the Singapore Grand Prix. At that time, I, I was driving a Mini Cooper. From the first year it started, right up to the last year, I've been there first as an ordinary track marshal and worked my way up to the final three Grand Prix. I was doing race control. When we were young, we just tell our parents that we were Grand Prix. And you just go there and we enjoy the whole day. After the event, you just come back after all the sunburn. We really enjoy it. And when the Singapore stopped the last one, we feel so sad, nothing left. So they come in, a new one coming, we feel so happy. Indeed, excitement mounts for the upcoming Formula One race. I think it'll be exhilarating. I think it'll be sparks all over. It's, it's, it's going to be euphoric. I think Grand Prix coming to Singapore is a big event. I hope it's a great, great success and I'm glad that motorsport is coming back to Singapore. When Singapore had its Grand Prix in the 60s and early 70s, it wasn't top flight motor racing. This is top flight motor racing. This is billions of dollars of money put in to, to create a track around the town, you know, the business district of Singapore. It's going to be incredible. Indeed, the race will make F1 history by being the first held at night. Where I'm standing now is part of the street circuit for the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix this September. The five kilometer long circuit is designed to test the drivers as well as the cars with fast challenging turns. Cars are likely to reach a maximum speed of 300 kilometers per hour. This has been Suentio for Media Biz News.